It's rolling this time, right. We're answering the age-old question up there with how did we get here? Are there aliens? How many people does it take to work a 3D printer? We're hoping that it's two because that's all we got. So let's give it a bash. I'm gonna take off my shoes to help me think. <laughs> I'm trying to level the bed. I believe the bed is level. It's looking level. It's looking level. It's looking level. It's still looking level. I think it's probably level. It's having a hard time. So at the moment, I think it's creating the base for it. I'm not sure if this is actually part of the model or just the thing that the model adheres to. So we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Neither of us have actually seen the model. This is all using an old filament that's uh, been left in the in the machine. So at the moment we're kind of pushing the new filament through this white one. Um, that's why the base is black and this is white. So with a little bit of a uh, little bit of time, that new filament will come through, and we're, we're off to a good start. I think theoretically. Let, let's see what happens. I guess. Many hours later. <laughs> Version one. So, this is meant to be a watering can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this time, we're trying to print a dwarf miniature for D&D. We've got in here. There's a free file from a really awesome uh, 3D modeler. The thing's going. We've just got to wait for the nozzle to heat up and the bed to heat up. Uh, then, then it'll start. And then hopefully, we can come back in a, a few hours time before the end of the day and we might have a 3D model. One eternity later. Time for an update. We did it. It is done. The one is complete. In record time. So do I really need to put this in here and then do this? No. Can we just, can we just? Here we go, here we go, here we go. He is looking good.